We got to get rid of all that stuff, right? We had a hoarder in there. Uh, they are no longer with us, and all of that stuff now needs to get removed. 212 is the unit we're filming. The things I do. There she is. There's a tub under there, I swear. But once you're done, you got through all that, folks. We're going to have a $17.50 a month rental income producing machine for you. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all ever see that show, Hoarders? Woo boy, some wild stuff. We got a little bit of that action for you guys today at this particular property that is available uh, for your purchasing pleasure, right? 210 14th Street, Elyria. All right, this is a duplex, 94.9. Uh, one of the units is being rented at 775. And truth be told, we put that tenant in there before uh, rents really skyrocketed out here in Elyria or pretty much everywhere in America, right? So there's, a th I think, like three or four months left on that tenant's lease. And honestly, a $100 rental increase is probably coming their way because 875 is about where it's at, right? Now, the other unit, man, we got to get rid of all that stuff, right? We had a hoarder in there. Uh, they are no longer with us, and all of that stuff now needs to get removed, right? So when the next buyer takes that uh, property, takes the property over, all that crap uh, is going to have to get taken out of the unit, right? After you do that and then fix it up, uh, we're going to be able to get eight seventy-five out of the at unit as well, right? So we're looking at like seventeen fifty now. The cost to get that unit. Uh, rent ready, able to bring in 875. I would assume it's going to fall somewhere in the 20k range, but I can't really tell you that for sure right now because we don't really know uh, because it is literally covered in what you see, right? <laughs> like it's you can't really tell uh, what's going on here until you really start uh, getting dumpsters in here and, and getting all that crap out of there, right? So I would anticipate at least a twenty thousand dollar renovation, right? So after spending about twenty G's or so, uh, subject to change, obviously, uh, you're going to have a duplex in Illyria, Ohio that's going to be able to bring in seventeen fifty in rent. Now, here on Holton Wise TV. We sell a lot of property to people that come to us from out of state, a lot of rental property, right? And when you guys come to us from out of state, you guys are usually coming from California, from New Jersey, from New York, from that dirty shithole Portland, right? Or pretty much all of Oregon, that dirty piece of shit state. God, I fucking hate Oregon. But when you guys come to us from these places, right, these ultra-liberal, super expensive uh, landlord tenant laws out of control locales. Uh, everything we have here in Ohio for you guys uh, is what you guys consider to be landlord friendly, right? Because from where you're from, anything is landlord friendly, right? Uh, but what's cool about Illyria is Illyria is in the Cleveland market, right? And Illyria is like a half hour west of Cleveland. Illyria itself uh, is actually very landlord friendly when compared to Cleveland, right? So to you guys coming from out of state, right? If you're in that dirty shithole Portland, Cleveland seems like the most landlord friendly city in America. But if you're in Northeast Ohio and you're in Illyria, uh, you're looking at Cleveland as tenant friendly when compared to Illyria, right? So if you're going to come out here, uh, you go to Cleveland, you're already getting super landlord friendly, but you can get even more landlord friendly when you jump over to Illyria, right? So I really, really, really like investing in this city. Uh, just the landlord tenant laws are just like, they're, they're great. And it, it's just very easy to deal with as a landlord, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. Cleveland's not too bad, uh, but I'm not from that dirty shithole Portland. So to me, uh, Cleveland can get a little annoying with how tenant friendly they are. Uh, but to you guys, it's incredibly uh, 
landlord friendly, but it gets even better, folks. And that's what we got going on here in Illyria, right? You just got to go through the hassle uh, of just completely unloading decades worth of uh, hoarder belongings. And then after that, putting together a scope of work to actually renovate the unit. But once you're done, you got through all that, folks. We're going to have a 1750 a month rental income producing machine for you, right? This is Section 8 investing at its finest. If you want to purchase this particular property, just send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Proof of funds will be required. So when you shoot us an email, be like, yo, dude, I want to buy 210 14th Street. Give me all that hoarder love. Uh, I want to pay 95k. Here is my proof of funds, and then we will reach back out to you and let you know what we're going to do. Uh, as far as financed offers are concerned, I would say in this particular situation, the majority of your lenders out there are probably not going to do that deal for you guys. If you'd like, you could give this video to your lender, have them talk to the underwriter. But in my experiences, oftentimes lenders will not do the loan on hoarder deals like this. They want all that stuff removed, and uh, the seller is not interested in paying to remove anything that's all going to be uh the responsibility of the buyer after you close so with that said we may or may not be open to finance offers but we're going to need you to do some due diligence with your lender and then we'll probably ask your lender a bunch of questions to verify they could actually push this through underwriting because i am doubtful that they will be able to do it but if for some reason you have a lender who can Shoot that offer, sales at holtonweiss.com. Include that pre-approval letter and the contact info of that lender for me so me and my team can actually talk to them to make sure you got what it takes to take this deal down. Let's go. Two, 212 is the unit we're filming. <coughs> so... I see some Disney VHSs over there in the corner. Huh? That's pretty cool. Old ass RC Cola cane, or old style at least. I think we'll do down here first. We got. Yep, alright. Sweet. We got the dining room. All right, just so I don't have to go down here again, we'll do the basement now. Ugh. Fuck. So, uh, uh, some minor little wear. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Basement's pretty full up too. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Uh, water tank. Oh, let me see if I can get this creepy ass. Aha! I found it. Jeez Louise. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can get over this. <sighs> the things I do. Like a, I think it's just a closet, but it looks like there's a third floor here, and I can't figure out for the life of me how the hell to get up there. So my guess is it's probably in here, or was at one point maybe. Nope. Oh, all that worked for nothing. We'll go into the bathroom. Oh yeah, there she is. There's a tub under there, I swear. You can keep management, and we can make this problem go away. We have the team in place to trash this out and get it back to my to rent ready. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.